Game's only goal, finds Lavelle. Shot taken, and Rose Lavelle made the right decision. Two of the U.S. Wow, look at everyone here. What a great day to come together as a city and celebrate one of Cincinnati's legends. You guys know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought everyone was at the game last night, but clearly you guys can't get enough of Rose Lavelle. It's okay, me neither. I get it. She's, she's fantastic. My name is Alex Steck, and I am the online host for your favorite MLS club, FC Cincinnati. And I am also a huge U.S. Women's National Team fan. Do we have any, any other fans out there today? Yeah? Good, good. So who watched the World Cup final? You were there. You were there. Oh, wow, look at that. He wants your autograph, Rose, maybe later. An exciting game. I hosted a little watch party at my house when Megan Rapino scored the PK. I was pumped. But when Rose Lavelle stepped up and scored that second goal against the Netherlands, I almost lost it. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. My, uh, my neighbors, if they weren't watching the game, they certainly knew who scored, and they knew how excited we were. I've had the honor and the pleasure of getting to know tonight's guest of honor throughout the year. She is just as down to earth, as kind, and as incredible as you all think she is. And part of that is from her family, and I'd like to welcome them up to the stage today. We have her dad, Marty, her mom, Janet, her brother, John, her sister, Leah, and her grandma, who I want to co-host with me today, Judy. All right, who wants to help me bring out our real guest of honor tonight? Yeah? From Cincinnati, Ohio, World Cup champion, the Queen City's own queen, Rose Lavelle. I think when you see that trophy, you're supposed to start chanting USA, right? USA, USA. Well, no person in this city has been a bigger cheerleader for the sport of soccer in Cincinnati. From helping MLS come to this city in just a few short years, and also hosting both the men's and women's national teams at Nibbert Stadium, and just three days ago, unveiling a brand new iconic soccer stadium that is unlike any other one in the world that's gonna be here in 2021 in Cincinnati, I'd like to welcome someone who has played a huge role in making Cincinnati a true soccer city. Please join me in welcoming to the stage FC Cincinnati President Jeff Birding. Hey, Cincinnati! Who'd have thought that we'd have a big party like this celebrating soccer four years ago, right? I mean, come on, this is awesome. Let me say this is, um, 
This is, it's, it's, it's obviously special for all of us. You know, with FC Cincinnati, we, we want to be the manifestation of our pride in our city, right? And when we see good things happening for our city, when we see good people experiencing great things who represent our city, it makes us feel so proud. It makes us feel so unified as a city when such big, great things happen for such good people. And I certainly know, just for myself, I was here for the first game. I was telling Rose, maybe you didn't know this, but this square was full for the first game. I was here with my kids, and when Rose scored the goal, this square went crazy when she scored the first goal, right, in the, in the World Cup. This city was really celebrating with her. And I know when she scored that goal, Alex spoke about it. I was watching with my family, and I explode out of my couch when she scores the clinching goal, and I started to cry tears of joy. Such a beautiful thing to happen for someone representing our city. Representing our city, right? Because we all love our country, but when, you, when, it's, when we're representing the Queen City, it just makes it so much more meaningful. And so certainly there's a winning combination here. Loving soccer and loving Cincinnati, right? That's a winning combination that Rose Lavelle certainly represents. So on behalf of FC Cincinnati, representing that winning combination, we want to present to Rose, on behalf of all of our owners and our staff and all of our supporters of FC Cincinnati, a little special memento. We have for Rose a, a framed picture. This is when Rose first represented her country here at Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati last year. And one little last thing, we know that she has to go back to her professional team that's not in Cincinnati yet, yet. And so Rose, before you go, we know you have a little bit of time this afternoon, and so we want to make sure you have an opportunity to eat a little bit of Skyline for lunch, okay? So Cincinnati, thanks for coming out to help us honor our Queen Rose Lavelle. Thank you, everyone. I think now we say it's skyline time, right? Now, for those of you who are fans of Rose, which you obviously all are if you're here today, you know that she is the first to say she is obsessed with Cincinnati. That's, that's her word. That's not mine. From Fiona at the Cincinnati Zoo to Skyline, to Xavier, she reps Cincinnati hard, and we love it. But there isn't a person prouder to represent this city than our mayor, John Cranley. For our next guest, please help me in welcoming Mr. Mayor. Let me start by asking a question. Who believes that Rose should be paid what she's earned? We in Cincinnati believe that men and women should be paid what they earn. <laughs> Procter and Gamble believes that, and I want this headquartered here in Cincinnati, and we want to thank them for the statement they made supporting the women of our United States women's team. It is an incredible honor to welcome Rose back home a USA champion. We know that she's going, she already led our team uh, to the championship, and that is the real trophy here. And we know she's going to lead our team in Tokyo next year as we win the Olympics. Uh, it's a great honor for my wife, Dina, and Joseph, who are here. Uh, we were able to spend some time uh, with Rose and her parents, uh, Marty and Janet, last night. Um, and a couple of things really stood out. One, her pride for Cincinnati, her love of Mo Mount Notre Dame High School. Let's give it up for them. 
As a proud uh, graduate of Catholic schools myself, I'm proud uh, of what an incredible uh, inspiration Mount Notre Dame has provided to Rose and to girls soccer throughout this entire community. I also want to point out that Janice, uh, her mother sh shared a story with me last night that when Rose was younger, she was clearly a very talented soccer player and her mother wanted her to have some role models and so she took her out of school once early to watch women play soccer. I think we're going to forgive her for that, aren't we? Taking her out of school. And she said it was because there were so few women that could be role models for girls at the time. I don't know about you, but I think in Cincinnati, we have a role model now for girls, and her name is Rose Lavelle. And I have both a proclamation and a key to the city that we're going to present to Rose, but to do so, I'd like to bring up to the stage her uncle, the mayor of Deer Park, Mayor Donlin. Please join us. Say a few words? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> we have two mayors, and this is uh, Rose's uncle, who's the mayor of one of our great uh, neighboring cities, Rose uh, Deer Park. I also want to acknowledge we have council members Sittenfeld and Mann that are here, and Greg Landsman, I believe, is here. And, and uh, we're going to hear from uh, county commissioners and state representatives in a minute. But let me just say, and I'm not going to read all the whereas clauses, but this is officially Rose Lavelle Day in Cincinnati, Ohio. And, oh yes. and I, you know, I, we saw on TV that she was given a key to, to New York City last week. But like, uh, like the Brooklyn Bridge, it's just a, a, a replica of the suspension bridge. This is the real key to the city. <laughs> she has the key to our heart, but now she has the key to our city. Thank you very much. Sorry, I need my phone up here because I'm not used to talking in front of all of you guys. But um, this has been awesome, and I feel like I have a long, long list of people to thank, starting from my family, friends, coaches, teammates, all of them. But I'm most excited to be able to stand here right now and thank all of you guys and thank the city of Cincinnati. Um, I think Cincinnati is something that's so special, I, and I love it so much. Anytime, I always joke, because anytime someone asks me where my dream vacation is, I always say Cincinnati. And <laughs> everyone thinks I'm crazy. You guys probably think I'm crazy too. But there's no place I want to be other than home. And I think there's so many great things that make Cincinnati Cincinnati. We got Skyline, Graders. We got that baby hippo. We're all obsessed with our high schools. We got the best rivalry in college basketball. Um, but I think... Above all else, what makes home so special is the people. And I, oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting emotional. Um, but <laughs> I really think, I think Cincinnati has the best kind of people. I think there's so much pride and love here. And like I said before, every time I put on the US jersey, I have so much pride playing for the country, but I feel so grateful to be able to represent you guys and represent this city. It's, it's, it's unreal. Um, and I think I just want to, I feel the love and support every time that I am home and every time I'm away from home. And I just want to thank all of you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support during the tournament and leading up to the tournament and throughout my whole career. This is truly the city that has built me and I wouldn't be anywhere without it. And I would not be a world champion without all of you guys and all of your support. So thank you, Cincinnati. 
Thank you, Cincinnati. I love you guys all so much. Give it up again for Rose Lavelle. So uh, Rose, if we could head over to Lowe's after this and just make a quick copy of that key. Is that, is that cool? Yeah? No? Oh, wait, that's not how that works. You have to be a legend here and, and win a World Cup first. OK, I'll, I'll work on that. Congratulations, Rose. Now, I will always know what day it is. And same with all of you. July 19th, Rose Lavelle Day. So hopefully every, every business here in Cincinnati will make that a holiday. And we can all just eat Skyline and put Rose Lavelle highlights on loop. Does that sound good? Yeah? Fingers crossed that happens. Jeff, no. <laughs> Our next guest is no stranger to big events and ensuring that this wonderful county keeps maintaining its world-class image and growing. Please welcome the president of the Hamilton County Commissioners, Denise Driehaus. So I did not want to go after Rose Lavelle. Let's just, we love you, Rose Lavelle. And I got to tell you, when I was getting dressed this morning, I was thinking red, white, and blue, but then I found a dress with roses on it. So we are channeling Rose Lavelle today. Um, so I'm delighted to be here on behalf of the County Commission for the inspiration that Rose Lavelle has been to all of us, your grit, your tenacity, your talent, what you are doing on and off the field for equal pay, for equal work, promoting the women and girls, especially in this county. Um, and we all know where we were when we were watching the games. And I just want to say my daughter drove up from Louisville this morning to be here. The quarterfinals against France, which was a little, you know, it was tense because that was a really close game. We were setting up for my daughter's wedding reception in my backyard and we took 90 minutes and we sat and we watched the game. If the tables go up, that's fine, but we need to watch the game. And Rose Lavelle, in that game, be a superstar like you were throughout the entire tournament. And so it is with great pleasure and it's my honor to recognize the inspiration that you are here in this community for all of us, old and young, but especially for the young girls who want nothing more than to be just like Rose Lavelle. And I'm not going to read my whereas clauses, but we're proclaiming and recognizing Rose Lavelle as the queen of the Queen City and declaring it uh, the 19th day of July 2019 as Rose Lavelle Day in all of Hamilton County. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. So when I was a kid, my first AOL account, all the kids out here have no idea what AOL is. Oh, good. Thank you. My screen name was Girl Power 468. Yes, that's embarrassing, I know. But this women's national team really showed us what girl power is. And right here in Cincinnati, we have some very strong women who have a lot of influence on this city. I'd like to welcome one of them to the stage right now from Rose Lavelle's home district, Ohio 28, State Representative Jessica Miranda. Hey, everybody. Let's give it up one more time for Rose Lavelle. So I have here in my hand a commendation from the great state of Ohio. We are so very proud all of my colleagues and I rose to represent you in Columbus. And I know from my seat, I am so proud to represent you in Columbus and our district, what I like to call the Great 28. But I think we're gonna now have to rename our district to, I don't know, maybe the birthplace of champions. Take that back for us and for Cincinnati. So I'm very, very proud to be here today. I'm honored to present Rose with this um, acknowledgement from the state of Ohio for her stellar performance in all of the games. And if I can just say, Rose, as the mother of three young daughters, um, this has been quite um, a, a, an event and something that my girls will look up to for years to come, and I thank you for that. Um, you're a stellar role, role model, and we look forward to celebrating this day every year for the rest of time. Give it up for our queen of the queen city, 
Rose Lavelle. Thank you, Denise. Rose, fortunately, your love for Cincinnati is very well documented and chronicled. We don't quite get notifications every time you say the word Cincinnati, but we know how much you love it. <laughs> so Cincinnati, we know that you all can't get enough of our Cincy Rose. So before we go today, I want you guys to take a look at the video board and we're gonna take a look at this special relationship. Uh, you guys have no idea how obsessed I am with Cincinnati. You soccer in Cincinnati, I think, really helped shape me into the player that I was. Um, I think starting even from my first club team, GSSA, um, it's where I met my first trainer, Neil Bradford, and he helped me fall in love with the game. And then um, I moved on to Cup, and Cup is actually who first tried me at center mid, and I remember playing there and thinking, I felt like a chicken with my head cut off, but then I l ended up loving it, and um, I feel like I grew so much as a player um, every single year with every club team that I played for and um, definitely would not have gotten here without the help of those club teams. Cincinnati is like the city that has built me into the player and person that I am today. I say that so often, but I just, I feel it so strongly. And um, to be able to come back and play in front of um, this city that has just shown me such unwavering support, it, it, it meant so much to me. And um, it, it, was, it was such a special moment in my career. I think having a professional team in your own backyard is huge. I know um, if I would have had that opportunity when I was younger, I feel like I would have eaten it up. I think it's so cool to be able to um, just go to a game in your own city and be able to watch these players and have them to look up to. And um, I think hopefully it inspires players in this area to um, be in their shoes one day. That mural was incredible. Um, and. I think just kind of continuing on what I said before, I think Cincinnati has shown me such unwavering support and um, I feel so grateful every time that I can say I'm from Cincinnati and every time that I go out and wear the U.S. jersey, I know I'm not only representing the U.S., but I'm also representing Cincinnati and um, yeah, the support has been unreal and I, I can't thank Cincinnati enough for it. Rose Lavelle in Cincinnati. Can we say relationship goals? That's what you'd call this? All right, Rose, can I, I'm going to ask you to come up here with your trophy. Just show your love for Cincinnati. All right, let's have your back to the crowd. And you guys all want to smile for a picture with Rose? Four stars, how about that? Good, 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 thank you. Thank you, Rose. Rose, we are all incredibly excited to be here with you today, to honor you, to welcome you home. You have incredible achievements that everyone here in Cincinnati is proud of you, and as you head home, to your club team in DC. We want to remind you that you are always welcome to come back home home to Cincinnati. Now everyone here today, if you are lifelong soccer fans or if you just caught the soccer bug watching the World Cup, remember to support Rose and the rest of her teammates from the US Women's National Team all throughout the year. They play throughout the summer and the fall you can catch them on the ESPN networks. They are in the NWSL. Make sure you tune in, you support them. And the World Cup, they're going to have a World Cup victory tour later this year as well with six games. 
So find that info at ussoccer.com. I know you guys want to keep watching Rose and supporting Rose. You can find her in the Washington Spirit on September 25th on ESPN2. So that's another date for you guys to add to your calendars today. All right, one last time, Cincinnati. Let's give it up for Rose Lavelle and thank her for coming out today. How about we finish with a nice, strong chant for Rose Lavelle? Rose Lavelle! Rose Lavelle! Rose Lavelle!